We have mentioned before that halogens in their elemental form are toxic. However, their compounds are in fact very useful and used in everyday life. In this lesson, we will learn about the many uses of halogens and their compounds. When you woke up this morning, you likely brushed your teeth. Toothpaste usually contains sodium fluoride, which acts to prevent tooth decay. For the same reason, some countries fluorinate their water supply. Some of you may have decided to have a fried egg for breakfast and may have used a non-stick pan. The reason why the pan is non-stick is due to a layer of Teflon, a fluorine-containing compound. Let's close our eyes and think about a swimming pool. Can you smell the swimming pool? That smell is, in fact, because of a chlorine-containing compound, sodium hypochlorite. Now let's change the scene just a bit. Imagine you have been asked to do some chores, cleaning the bathroom sink and toilet. Bleach, which is a common household cleaner, is also a solution of sodium hypochlorite. In both cases, sodium hypochlorite acts as a disinfectant. In other words, it kills germs. Many countries chlorinate their water supply as a disinfectant measure. Regular table salt is sodium chloride. As you know very well, it is a flavoring agent and enhances the taste of food. If you live in a cold climate, you may have had to salt the pavement of your driveway prior to an anticipated snowstorm. Road salt is a mixture of sodium chloride and calcium chloride. The sodium and calcium chloride solution that results when the snow starts to fall has a lower freezing point than that of water, so a non-icy surface results, even at extremely low temperatures. PVC, or polyvinyl chloride, is a certain type of plastic. It can be used to make pipes, insulate electrical wiring, make waterproof clothing items, and to make important healthcare equipment such as IV tubing and bags. An aqueous solution of bromine can be used to test for the presence of alkenes, or unsaturated hydrocarbons. It goes from orange to colorless in the presence of an alkene. Think about old photographs. The first images that come to mind are black and white photographs. Photography paper is coated with silver bromide, and upon exposure to light, it will darken to form the dark parts of the final photo. We can dissolve iodine in either alcohol or water to be used as an antiseptic. We discussed sodium hypochlorite as a disinfectant. An antiseptic also kills germs, but is mild enough to be used on skin. We actually need some iodine in our diet, and this iodine can come from seafood or iodized salt. In fact, most commercial salt is iodized. An iodine deficiency can lead to a condition where the thyroid glands enlarge, forming a goiter. In summary, although halogens are toxic, there are many useful and important real-life uses of their compounds.